So this video is covering how to make the feathers in the head crest of Archer, the Major Mitchell's cockatoo. Um, what you're doing is you're crocheting this cream bit first. So you're crocheting a feather, leaving some gaps for us to put the contrasting ruby and yellow in. And the reason why it's quite important, I felt we needed a video, is because what you're going to end up with is all of these ends. But if we rejoin and we slip stitch across in the right way, we can get all of our ends on the bottom of our feather like that. And that means when you sew them into position, you're just gonna sew all of those ends in and through the head, rather than have to sew them all each individually round little stitches and then snip them off and end up with little fluffy bits of yarn. So what we're aiming to do with what I'm showing you here is to get all of our ends at the bottom. And that means you can sew them on like that into that head crest um, and all of your ends go in neatly. So just to give you a good look at this one um, that's finished, what we're aiming to do is to do our two rubies with a gap in, then we rejoin and we do the yellow one in between. So let's take the ruby yarn. We've got our cream base. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually join the ruby in at the bottom down here. So right next to the cream thread, we're going to rejoin our ruby in there. And then slip stitch up to this gap. So you're going to slip stitch into the gap that you left as slip stitches on the chain there. Like that. Then chain your three. and then slip stitch back down that chain. So this is the same way that you've made the cream feathers all along. Slip stitch into the base of that, that again. So you're going back into the same stitch that you slip stitched into initially. So you go back into the bottom and then slip stitch into the next one. So that's into that middle gap. That's the one that you'll ultimately be working the yellow one in when we rejoin and then slip stitch into the next one along. and then do another feather. So do another chain three, and then slip stitch back down. And then into that bottom stitch. And break your yarn, but leave yourself a long end on. Don't break the yarn and leave them too short because the important bit is that you want to be able to sew that back down so that they're both coming out the bottom. So we've worked one side and as a right-handed crocheter, I've worked this side first um, so that my right side is facing. Um, then what I'm going to do is actually turn the work and this time I'm going to be rejoining at the top of the gap and working the opposite way down and this will guarantee then that all our right sides are facing forwards because what we did when we were crocheting the initial feathers around that chain is we worked up this side first and then down the other side as a left-handed crocheter you'd be going the other way around so what you're going to do to then rejoin your red again is you're going to go into the um, slip stitch on this side this time so at the top rather than the bottom Rejoin your yarn. Again, leave yourself a long end on. Don't do it too close because that'll make it harder to sew it in and make that neat. So rejoin, chain three, slip stitch two back down. Slip stitch into that stitch that you've come out of. Slip stitch into the next one along. And they, they can be quite tight, these slip stitches, so you might have to force your hook in a little bit. Then into the next one along. So the one we just did was the one that we'll actually rejoin and work the yellow one in. Then do another chain. Back down. And then what you need to do is just slip stitch back along the surface to get close to where that end is again. So I'm going to go in there like that. And then I'm going to go to the end so that my end is on the edge to be able to sew it into that head. So then break your yarn and you've now got two feathers this side and two feathers that side in your ruby. Now, what I would do before we go on to rejoining our yellow is get these ends down to the bottom as well. So if you take your sewing up needle. And that's my end that's come from there. All I'm going to do is weave that in taking that back down to the bottom and doing this as you go along will make this as neat as you can I wouldn't advise leaving them all to the end that's one done so 
So that's now got our two creams and our four ruby ends to the bottom. Time to do the yellow. So with the yellow, um, what we're going to do is the same thing. So we want to land our yellow thread on the bottom as well. So put your hook in on the bottom where the ends are. You can put it in through any stitch really um, in that bottom bit, just so that you're gonna make sure that you can sew that in. Leave it long again in the same way. And then we just need to slip stitch up to get in that gap. So do you see we've got the slip stitch there that we're aiming for? So I'm just gonna put my hook into the bottom of that first red feather that I did and slip stitch. And then I'm gonna go in to slip stitch into that spare one that you had there. Chain your three and then slip your two back down. And then slip into that stitch to finish that feather off. Break your yarn and then we'll do exactly the same thing that we did before is we'll take that and we'll sew that end down through the yellow stitches so it's on the bottom. And then in the same way, we obviously want to reverse that onto the other side like we did with the ruby. So you need to slip stitch into the stitch that you're going to be working the feather in this time, going that way around. So get that through there. Long end. There we go. One, two, three. One, two. Go back into that and slip stitch that in. So that feather is in and then down to the bottom. So slip stitch into the bottom of that ruby one and then down and into the bottom of the feather. Then break the yarn and then all we've got to do is sew our last two yellow ends in. So the yellow ends that are at the top rather than coming out the bottom are now that one and this one here. All that you need to do is sew those down and through as we did with the ruby one, down to the bottom, and then you'll be able to sew your head feather into position. So I'm gonna go through there, and through there, and then out the bottom. So that one's there with everyone else. Now it is fiddly, um, there's no two ways about it, it is fiddly. The good news is the longer orange ones that you're doing underneath the wings, um, obviously when you're just using one colour, you will only have your two ends in the right position at the end. Um, but this is the thing that makes this cockatoo um, very, very special is this headdress, um, as well as obviously the fact that we're using that modelling wire properly for the first time in a general kit on release. So that's your feather finished. All you now need to do is sew it into position. And the way that I would approach that is I would probably take them two at a time um, and then sew those ends in and through. So go in around a stitch and then come out through the head. And that's what you'll be doing to attach all six head feathers backwards on that crest.